Hey folks, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving electric fields. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says to sketch the electric field pattern for two negative point charges. So this is going to look very similar to the one for two positive point charges that we saw in the theory video, but it will be the direction of the arrows on the field lines that are different. So your sketch should look something like this. And you'll notice we've got two negative charges near each other, and we've got this space in the middle where there's no electric field lines. And that, remember, is because the two negative charges will be repelling each other, and we need to show that with the field lines. So you'll notice how the field lines on both sides are going in towards the negative charges, because remember, electric field lines go out of positive and into negative. So we're showing that they go into negative charges there. And you'll notice how as they get closer to the middle, they start curving round more. So in the middle section, they curve from the top and go in towards the charge. And then from the bottom, they do a similar thing. Thing, but they go up this time and then in towards the charge. So remember the region in the middle here is where the electric field lines cancel out. You'll also notice how the electric field lines on the left hand side and the right hand side look awfully like they do for the case where there's a single negative charge. And that's what we saw in the theory video. So your sketch might look a bit simpler than this with fewer field lines, but this one shows you what happens if you were to draw lots of field lines. So make sure your arrows are pointing in the way and you've got this main shape in the middle where there are no field lines. Question two says to draw a diagram to show how an alpha particle, beta particle and gamma ray would travel through an electric field. Well, what we need to do first of all is recap what an alpha particle, beta particle and gamma ray are from the radiation topic. So an alpha particle, first of all, remember this is two protons and two neutrons. So it's positively charged because remember neutrons are neutral and protons are positively charged. So overall, this thing must be positively charged. Charged. Next, the beta particle is a fast moving electron. So if it's an electron, that means it's negatively charged because electrons are negatively charged. And lastly, the gamma ray. Remember, this was a high energy electromagnetic wave, which has no charge. So we're going to sketch our parallel plates here. So this is our positive plate and then our negative plate down here. And we could draw the field lines on here going from positive down towards negative, equally spaced apart as a uniform field. But I'm not gonna draw the field lines here because they would actually get in the way of the diagram. But just know that that is where they would point. If we start with the alpha particle, which is this orange blob here, then we need to show what happens to it as it passes between these two oppositely charged parallel plates in the electric field. So because the alpha particle is positively charged, then as it moves through here, it's going to be repelled away from the positive charge and attracted towards the negatively charged plate. So it's going to move down the way like this. Next, we have the beta particle, which is this little blue dot. So remember, it's smaller because it's an electron. And remember, we said it's negatively charged. So this time, because the beta particle is negatively charged, it will travel in a path that looks like this. So notice how it's moving up the way towards the positively charged plate, and that's because it's being repelled away from the negatively charged plate and attracted towards the positively charged plate. Now notice that I've drawn the beta particle to travel further through the electric field than the alpha particle, and that means the beta particle is being deflected less, and that is due to the charge in the beta particle being smaller than the charge in the alpha particle. And lastly, we have the gamma ray, which is an electromagnetic wave, so what would happen to this, because it's got no charge, is it would just pass straight through the electric field. And that's because it's got no charge, so it's not going to be attracted towards the positively charged plate or the negatively charged plate, and it's also not going to be repelled away from either of those plates. So it would pass straight through the electric field. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.